Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about J. Cole's new album that he dropped, I Might Delete Later. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So as you guys know, on Friday morning, J. Cole dropped an album. Might Delete Later has about 12 tracks on it. And um, outside of the 12 track on the album, 7 Minute Drill, the album was overall not good it was pretty underwhelming outside of a few features uh like uh, central c's verse he went hard on that track and overall the the album like i said it wasn't really that good the beat selection w was pretty poor you know we all know that j cole can rap and do all the lyrical spiritual miracle and all that stuff but if your beat's not right then the verse isn't going to really be that tight basically now i think he was just warming up basically for the fall off hopefully the beat selection on fall off is a whole lot more better than uh this album right here because if it's not then i'm going to be heavily disappointed because he's overhyping his fall off like waiting to the fall off waiting to the fall off okay we'll see basically we, we have to see it basically and the only track i really the only track that i really liked from this album i gotta say like i said earlier it was a seven minute drill basically because bro went ham on kendrick lamar and showed balls showed guts and just went ham and just bodied that nigga put that nigga in a body bag because kendrick lamar always likes to talk shit even though he's been absent from the rap game for like five six years bro wants to talk shit act like he's the best but he ain't the best we all know that drake's the best or at least some people want to basically act like drake's not the best but he is the best in the rap game right now it's just facts basically Toronto people run this shit right now. The Toronto niggas in the rap game run this shit right now, basically. And people just don't want to accept that fact, you know? But anyways. But anyways, that track was amazing. Just straight up went ham on Kendrick Lamar. And if I was Kendrick Lamar, I want to respond. I know he's going to do it anyways, but I want to respond because J. Cole was just sending warning shots. He was just getting warmed up. So if I was Kendrick Lamar... I'll really think twice about what I'm going to say on this diss record whenever he whenever he replies. Because if his diss is weak, then J. Cole's going to talk his shit for keeps. It's just that simple. But overall, this My Delete Later album, uh, the tracks, like I said, they weren't really uh, gravitating, you know. They didn't really touch my soul. So I'm going to give it right now... A 5 out of 10 basically it may change later on as the days pop pass by and roll forward because I may give the album another listen or two but overall I give it a 5 out of 10 because like I said I expect more from J. Cole and the beat selection was just whack I understand that you just wanted to drop that diss track I understand the marketing tactics too you know J Kendrick talking crap so you got to reply and put that shit on your album genius marketing right there but at the same time, you still got to come with the slaps, basically. Period.